Gold Boys NFL preview time. Brad Thomas, I am Will Hill. Time to discuss America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Brad, every year we go through this. This is their year. <laughs> Haven't been to the NFC title game since probably you weren't even born yet. 1995, I think, was the last one. So it's been a while. Uh, let's just get into it. We'll get into futures, win totals, awards, anything that you're interested in. I'll set the table here. Ten and a half season win total. 14 to 1 to win the whole damn thing, 6 to 1 to win the NFC, plus 195 to win the division. What are your general takeaways here on the Dallas Cowboys? The Dallas Cowboys have to be better than last season, right? Um, because I just feel like Dak getting injured, if he stays healthy, they're a, once again a 10 or 11 win team. Uh, they won 12 games last season. But the question is, is Dak going to stay healthy? So do I want to bet them? Do I want to bet them to win their division? Maybe not, but would you tell me if there's – would I be surprised if they win their division? Not at all. Um, what, they were two games uh, two games behind the Eagles. I am concerned a little bit with Tony Pollard. Um, a lot of people are quick to say, like, Zeke wasn't great, right? Like, we talk about what do we, how do we define greatness or how do we define uh, usage – like not usage, but reliability – uh, for their team. Zach would pick up those tough three yard, two yard runs. And he had a really high uh, offensive success rate uh, for touchdowns, excuse me, a high touchdown rate uh, when he got the ball in the red zone. You, you Now you have Tony Pollard who uh, hasn't been a three down back since high school. Um, in college, he wasn't even a three down back. And now you're asking him to be that. Um, well, you're going to have Deuce Vaughn as your number two. I'm not really sure. To, it's not that I don't know if Tony Pollard could do it. It's we haven't seen it yet, um, which when you need to get ugly in the red zone, you need someone who's going to be a physical bruising running uh, running back. And that kind of strays me away from there. But 11 wins, dude, I think they can win 11 games. Like even looking at their schedule, like I could probably count out like nine that I 100% would have them favorited by at least two and a half points. Um, yeah, they get so the then, AFC East. They, so they have to play at the Bills. They do have to play at the 49ers, uh, which was a painful memory last year. A game they should have won, yeah. really, that NFC divisional game. Dak, like I've always been a defender of Dak. That is going to be one that's going to, until he gets into the NFC title game or Super Bowl, that is going to be one, like even yes. as somebody who defends him, that's going to be one that's hard to live down because that game was there for him. The defense was playing out of their minds. And if it weren't for just a couple of really bad turnovers, I think the kicker probably missed some kicks too. I think that was the stretch where he was struggling. They had that game. They were That game was there for him. So, Look, uh, just to chime in here, I would lean over 10 and a half. It's plus um, money. It is. It is. I mean, 11 wins is a lot in the NFL, and a, a quarterback that's that has a, a habit of getting hurt, that I, I don't love doing that, and I just don't like to play overs in general. I will say a lot of people probably won't bet this because, like, oh, it's minus 230. Minus 230 to make the playoffs to me is a great bet. The that's NFC, a good it's, a, it's very hard to find seven teams. You just go through the teams in the NFC. It's very hard to find seven teams, barring something catastrophic to Dak, and even that might not knock them out. Like, it's just hard to find seven teams that are better than the Cowboys here. Yeah, and I also think that uh, we're going to see some regression from the the Commanders, who won eight games last season. Like, there's, we're, we're going to see regression in this division uh, from the Eagles, who have a much more difficult schedule. So there's more available wins, is what I think. And like you said, 11 games is already hard to win. What would you – what would it, what price? Okay, let's do a price. What price would you need for them to win the Super Bowl? It would have to start with a two, 25 to one. Yeah, I just think that, what are we looking at here? 14 to one, I said. That's just too, I mean, there's too many good teams. There's just too much. I mean, this team hasn't been in the NFC title game in forever, and you just worry about there's, the Chargers are like this. Is one of these teams, they're one of these teams, something always goes wrong, whether it's an injury, whether it's a coaching decision, Jerry Jones involved. Like if at 25 to one, would I bet it? I might, that that would be like the starting point, like 25 to one. Okay, there's a lot of talent there. It is, look, it's a loaded roster. They're really good. They had Cooks, they had Gilmore. They're just they're, they're really good. I thought they could use another receiver last year. I thought, um, look, but it, it's a good roster. They got the uh, the offensive line situation straightened out with Martin's contract. So at twenty five to one, I'd be interested. I just feel like you're you're never getting a deal. Cowboys, one of these teams, you're never getting a deal on whether it's the Cowboys, the no. Lakers. There's just too much hype. There's too they're too much of a popular team. You're never going to get a bargain on them. The Yankees the same way. So fourteen to one. While I could see it happening, I wouldn't be shocked if they're in the NFC title game or the Super Bowl. Um, and if there's anybody that's going to unseat the San Francisco Philly NFC title game that everyone sort of half expects, I would say it's Dallas, but at 14 to one, six to one for the division, none of these numbers do anything for me. Honestly. I, I have to know, like, um, 
what do we expect from this Dallas offensive line? Um, because year in and year out, we could always expect greatness. And then we saw a little bit of, uh, you know, a downtick in production. Injuries obviously hit that as well. Do they get back to kind of being a dominant offensive line? I, and I don't know if I can answer that. I don't know if I can answer that positively. All right, let's get into awards here. We've mentioned on other shows – MVP, they're not doing you any favor, sort of like we mentioned with the Super Bowl, where people they, yeah. they know people want to bet it. It's a major market. People want long shots, so they just don't want to get killed on it. And um, not to repeat myself, but I've mentioned, you know, Mahomes was 80 to 1 when he won it in 2018. Lamar was like 75 to 1 when he won it in 2019. That's a ma- NFL MVP is a major market. They're not just going to keep it giving out 80 to 1, 90 to 1 winners. So they have shrunk all of these numbers. Uh, let's look MVP. I mean, Dak is 22 to one. Is there a path <laughs> where they win 12 games and he wins MVP? There is. I, let me ask you, I mean, is that number bettable for you? No, it's not bettable for me because I just think as much as Dak is scrutinized, he has to have better numbers than he's had in years prior. And, uh, you know, no longer with, um, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore. They want to want to run the ball more. Like I'd probably look for maybe a Tony Pollard uh, prop in, in there some way than before I took Dak at 22. Also, like I think of the guys around Dak, like I'd rather bet Deshaun Watson at 30 um, who has right. higher upside. Just not enough of a price in a league with Mahomes, no. with Herbert, with Allen, with Rodgers. We're going to put with, up 4,000 I mean, passing yeah. yards. Like that's just gross. I mean, I wouldn't say you're throwing your money away. I just don't think you're getting the best price on it. Offensive player of the year. Let's look for Powered here. Would you? Would, would Powered be interested? In, I mean, thirty-five to one again. I'd want fifty. Broken record. Yeah, you need a little more, right? I'd want fifty because Pollard's gonna have to set some crazy, some crazy numbers. And like, uh, like Dak put up. I mean, not Dak. Excuse me. Zeke put up good numbers, and like thirty-five right. to one is just not good for me. This one, it's not overly sexy. I mean, you're not going to just light up the world, be like, oh my God, I got a five to one. But Micah Parsons, five to one defensive player of the year. He could certainly win it. He was a monster favorite most of the year last year. Deserved it almost. Eight to one. And I I was counting my money. And then, uh, what was it? Bosa stole it late. So Bosa Parsons went insane. Five to one. So. I think yeah. Parsons, five to one. It's honestly, like, if we talk realistically, like, of all of these players, I know that I took Hutchinson at like uh, 50 to one. Wow, that number is 25 to one now. Yeah. Um, I know I took that. But like realistically, I'd bet Micah Parsons before I bet Miles Garrett, TJ Watt, or Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa with the contract issues, you know, don't know if he can start the entire season. And I don't think they're going to win back to back. But Micah Parsons is going to get a good amount of sacks. He's going to play that hybrid role in the defense, meaning he's going to be able to line up on the line or line up back uh, in the linebacker uh, position. So at, at five to one, I mean, it's fair. <laughs> like, do we think uh, Sauce Gardner is really going to win defensive player of the year? Like, I don't. I don't know if he's that good. They won't throw towards him. No, exactly. Yeah. Coach of the year. We know this is a narrative award. Usually it's not a team that made the playoffs the year before. I guess there's a path. I don't know. Could I talk into it? First of all, McCarthy 40 to one. They win 13 games. You know, there's not that surprise team because it usually goes to a surprise team. Is there, is there a path at 40 to one? There's a path at 40 to one. Okay. Um, Like, the price of Mike McCarthy being the third lowest odds on the board, the highest odds on the board is like, 40 to one. If they win the division, also, let's say they beat the Eagles twice. They beat the Eagles twice. They win the division, winning 13 or 14 games. Everyone's going to be like, wow, Mike McCarthy, look what he's done with this team. And Mike McCarthy is going to take more play calling responsibility this season. That's a good price. That's a good number. Like, that's better than, man, that's better than betting Dak Prescott to win MVP at 18 to one. Right. Right. I, I do think there is a little aspect of, hey, we've been, you know, we've kind of clowned this guy all these years from the media standpoint. Yep. Let's give him his flowers. Let's give him his due. Let's give him the award. Again, I, is it enough for me to bet it? No. But like of all these award prices, if you're really high on Dallas, could you could like, could again, it's hard to win when you made the playoffs last year. It's not like they're going to be a surprise team, but at 40 to one, I, I wouldn't hate the bet. I wouldn't think it's like impossible that he wins this award. No, I don't think it's impossible by any means. Yeah, what, what, let me ask you the same question you asked me. What number would you need for them to win the division? To me, plus 195, you're, you're kind of getting there because you mentioned Philly's got a tougher schedule. Yeah. I think they get the Chiefs in addition to the Bills. Like the, the, the Eagles had a soft schedule last year. It's much harder this year. I haven't bet it. I got the Eagles at plus 115 in the spring. I'm, I'm tempted to sprinkle a little, take away my risk. I know Philly has an easy schedule to start. So maybe some of this stuff, it's not just who you bet or what you bet. It's when you, when bet, you bet it. it. So maybe you'll wait a little bit. But that plus 195, it's not quite there. But like if you told me you bet it plus one ninety five to win the division, I don't think that's a terrible bet. Either. No, I I think like 
probably plus 225, plus 250. Yeah. It's an auto bet for me, um, which it could happen. Like we could get that number with Philly starting off early. Uh, I, I just think, I think there's going to be a lot to, it's going to take a lot for, to like kind of usurp Philadelphia, but instantly when you say diff, more difficult schedule, that's when it, it becomes one of those where I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, I, I'll bite. Uh, there will be regression. Uh, they won't win 14 games again. I'm talking about Philly. Um, so then the, the two to one starts to become a very valuable number. Yep. All right. We're on the same page. I mean, we'll probably deal with this, you know, in January, we'll be saying the same thing we say every January. Oh, the Dallas, they were so close. They had oh, another bad postseason loss. I mean, two years <laughs> in a row, they had bad postseason losses to the 49ers. So the talent's there. If they're playing the final January, the, the early, you know, the, the first or second uh, G- Sunday in February, like I, I wouldn't be shocked, but. I don't know. I've just been burned too many times with this team. I think the talent's there, but I don't know that the numbers are good enough, but this certainly a playoff team. I, if I'm going to recommend a best bet, I say, you know what? Swallow it. Minus 230 to make the playoffs. If you're one of these people that can bet on credit or you, you, know, you don't mind tying up your money, to me, I'd be shocked if they missed the playoffs. So I don't mind minus 230 to make the playoffs. Do you have anything to add before we bounce? No. Um, yeah, I think that's probably my probably. Yeah, I'd probably say that or take uh, take them to win the division, but I was looking to parlay. You can't parlay the playoff winners on DraftKings, but Right. That's probably the safest bet there. Yep. And there's uh, DraftKings lets you toggle the number too. Now you're paying extra juice, but say, Hey, I, I'm going to pay extra for them to go over eight and a half. I know they're going to get to nine, that kind of thing. And you want to pay, I mean, you're basically going to be paying what you pay, pay to make the playoffs. But um, I think we're on the same page, but Brad, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you to Pickett Sports, Sleeper, Hall of Fame bets. We'll see you guys next time. 